Hey guys, today we are doing my quarterly, oh, I drew a blank, <laughs> this is starting out really good, um, quarterly lifestyle and home empties, so cleaning products, stuff like that. So I started doing this last month or before and now all of the beauty empties will be separated monthly so if that's what you're wanting to see then just stay tuned in the next week or so I should be filming just the beauty empties but today is just more of like the lifestyle empties and the household-esque type of stuff so my basket is completely overfilled because this is quarterly now so I'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly because I don't want to be here all day talking about things that are going into the recycling bin so let's just get started so the first thing i have is this a big old bottle of crest pro health mouthwash so we get these from either costco or target and usually get them in a double or triple pack sometimes and we've used this one before it works really well it doesn't have any alcohol in it so it's not going to um, burn your mouth I personally like that stinging feeling of the Listerine, but because this is more gentle than everyone in the house can use it, so we usually stick with this one. So we went through a bottle of that. I went through, okay, this one is a little controversial for me because I am currently going through all of my makeup wipes, all of like the single use things to replace them with reusable things, so that way I'm not constantly putting more stuff into the environment that doesn't need to be there. But the one thing I do love more than anything, and I've talked about these multiple times before, are these seventh generation multi-purpose wipes. And this is in the Garden Mint scent, and I get these through Grove. And because they are disposable, I have a hard time with these because I wanna just use something that's replace, you know, that's reusable, but I just love these so much. And I think for now I will continue to repurchase them because I do love them so much. But in the future I will think of something that I can do that's more reusable. Um, so that way I'm not constantly going through these. But I did go through two of them and I do still have some more because like I said I just love these so much. So we went through two of those. And then Frank had his tonsils and adenoids taken out. So as a 33 year old man I think hard before you do that because it's pretty rough for a couple weeks so the only thing that he was allowed to have pain reliever wise he did have stronger stuff but he used it up and the only other thing he was allowed to have was the clear acetaminophen and you have to have everything nothing red so a lot of them are red but you can't have anything red just in case you would have bleeding so he went through three bottles of the CVS acetaminophen and took three of those and we were Glad to find these at CVS because he really needed something that was liquid that he would be able to tolerate swallowing because his throat was so sore. So we did go through three bottles of those. One thing, I love Grove. I've been a customer of theirs for over a year now, but I have yet, I had yet to find something that I bought from them that I didn't like, but I did find something unfortunately, and it was this Grove stain remover, free and clear. So I have my own that I usually make myself and it's um, hydrogen peroxide with the Blue Dawn dish soap which works perfectly and I just like sometimes to buy something so that I have it on hand if I run out of the hydrogen peroxide and I don't feel like making another bottle. Um, so I decided to grab this and it was only a couple dollars, I think it was five dollars or something around there, but it did not do it for me and it went through so fast it's just a little eight fluid ounce bottle so I would not repurchase this and I don't feel like it was very effective so like I wouldn't get it again I went through a Mrs. Myers clean day orange clove scent dish soap and I had previously finished up the multi surface spray I like this smell I pretty much like all of the Mrs. Myers soaps um, so this is a good one. It doesn't dry my hands out and we'll continue to repurchase. This was the first time I've used anything like this. So this is the Method Fragrance Boosters in the Scent Beach Sage. So I purchased these again through Grove. They didn't last very long, but I did like them for, I would use them for the towels and for like our blankets, things like that. 
And it's just like, it was nice. It was a good scent. They have another one that I get the dryer sheets and I think it's like a citrus ginger or something like that. So I would be curious to pick up that one. Um, but I don't know. For the price, I think they were $10. I feel like they went too fast for me to justify spending that like on a regular basis. So I probably would get them again, just not right now. I went through some cleaners. So this is the Method Bathroom Cleaner in the Eucalyptus Mint Scent. I really do like this one. I had purchased another one. I think it's a different scent. No, it's not. It's the same thing. But um, I do like this and love the Method product. So continue to get that. That again came through Grove. And then as well as the Method All Purpose Lime and Sea Salt uh, surface cleaner. So I went through another bottle of that. I did like this scent, but it wasn't my favorite. Yeah, it was like too cleaning smelling, like to cleaning product smelling for me. So I probably wouldn't get that one again, but I would get another scent in that product. As well as another, well, this is the method dish soap in the lime and sea salt scent. I always usually go through the Mrs. Myers cleaners, but I decided to switch it up and try this one out. And I will definitely stick with my Mrs. Myers because I prefer that over this one. So this is not a repurchase for me, um, but it was okay and it worked, did the job. Then we have, oh my gosh, so, so much stuff. All right, so this is not anything new. So I went through a Smarty Pants Kids Complete Vitamins. We get these at Costco, it was such a good deal. Swear by these for my son and for myself. And then also the Smarty, Pan Smarty Pants Kids Probiotic Complete. And this you can get off of Grove, but you can also pick them up at Target. And we love these. This is in the, uh, I was gonna say scent. Um, flavor of strawberry cream they are delicious and this is in I believe I can't remember it's they're really good <laughs> okay you'd be so proud of me I'm cutting down the coffee creamer out of all the coffee creamer I go through I only went through one so this is amazing for me. So this is a vanilla silk almond creamer. I picked it up through BJ's. It was a really good deal. I like this. I've tried it before in the past, so I knew that I would like I would like it. And yeah, I was very proud of myself. Only one creamer, because if you know me, you know me, and you know that I'm like creamer. I have a creamer problem. So then I went through. A Scrub Buddies Quick Erasers 2-pack from the Dollar Tree. I love these and will continue to repurchase these. They come in great handy and yeah, they work really well. Um, okay, I need to gather some more stuff, so hold that thought. All right, let's keep going. So the next thing, oh my God, I have to tell you about these. These are amazing. If you'd like tea. If you like honey and you like ginger or like citrusy, you need to try this if you have a Costco membership or I think you can actually get them off of Amazon. This is a 2.2 pound jar, it says, of this honey, citron, and ginger tea from the company Balance Grow. These are amazing. If you like, if you're not a big person on like, uh, consistency of textures of things, you might not like this because it does have, it's almost like a gelatinous tea that you mix in. You can mix it into cold or hot. I prefer it in hot. I've tried it on cold. I don't like, I don't like it because it doesn't feel like it kind of like uh, mixes as well, but it has like these big chunks of citrus and it's, it's very interesting the way that it looks, but pick these up at Costco, really good deal. They last a while, keep them in the fridge. I love these. Um, it says, if you won't find a more superior tea with a marvelous taste and fragrant smell, and it does, it, it's, it's a treat. I, was, I drink like one of these a day or every other day, and I love them and will continue to repurchase them. St Costco stopped having them for a while, but they had them online. And then, but I think they were a little bit more, I'm not sure, if, or not positive, but I did find them again the last time I was there, so I picked up a couple jars. All right, another thing. We went through, oh, this was a fail for me. 
So I asked Frank to pick up some laundry detergent when he went to Costco before and he got the wrong one, but it was okay. So this is the Kirkland Signature Ultra Clean Free and Clear. Um, it worked and I, I know I shouldn't like fragranced stuff because it's not that good for you, but I do like it and I would not get this one again, but like it, it did what it was supposed to do, so I just didn't like it because it didn't have any fragrance to it, so I didn't feel like that extra with the scent in the clothes once they were clean. Something from Frank again. He loves these, and we get them usually in from Costco or BJ's. It's the emergency 1,000 milligrams or whatever that is in the vitamin C. So he went through a pink lemonade and also a super orange. He takes these to work with them. I do sometimes occasionally too and just has one throughout the day. And it doesn't prevent us from getting sick because I feel like somebody in this house is always sick. But they taste good and it's like a nice little boost of vitamin C, I guess. Uh, this uh, with not getting sick, Dominic was sick, so he had a really nasty fever that would not leave. So we went through two children's Tylenols because now that he's older, they go quicker. Um, so hopefully we are done with sickness for the summer, but we did go through two of those, as well as Frank, who went through a NyQuil cold and flu. I will not take this because this makes me a hot mess in the morning, so he uses this when he's not feeling well or needs to get some sleep, which I yell at him for, but he takes it, so he went through one of those. Um, my 11 year old is obsessed with cleaning his sneakers so he went through a shoe cleaner that I believe was purchased through Amazon but it looks like this and he it comes with like a little brush and a microfiber cloth and he would go down in the utility sink in the basement every night and clean his shoes with this so I need to get another shoe cleaner I don't know if I would go with that one but he seemed to like it and then I went through another, or I went through an Ollie Purely Probiotic um, Vitamin or Gummy Vitamin. I got these through BJ's. They were actually on clearance. They were like $7.98 for this, which was a steal, so I picked up two. So I'm currently working on the second one. And they were the Bramble Berry flavor. They're pretty tasty. Um, 50 days worth of probiotics, so... I do take probiotic every day, it doesn't matter which brand, but I like this one, so I would consider getting that again. Um, a couple more things and I'm done. So then I went through a Berkley Jensen, um, which is the BJ's brand, Ultra Dishwasher Packs in 105 count. I'll pick these up, other than, as well as the Cascade ones, whichever usually are on coupon or which has a sale and would get these again. They work fine and we like them. And then I went through two teas, which I love tea. I don't think I've shared much of anything with tea on my channel before, but I do, I'm like obsessed with it. Um, so I went through this stash, stash, is that how you say it? Herbal caffeine free chamomile tea. And I just like this at bedtime with a little bit of honey and it's very nice and relaxing so I would get this one again. And this is funny because I hoarded these from like forever ago. I still have some more but it was the Trader Joe's Candy Cane Green Tea Decaffeinated. And I had so many boxes of these. I think I bought like eight boxes of them which was crazy. But it's just such a good tasty green tea. It was like a vanilla-esque like flavor to it delicious delicious I still have some more so they're getting really really old at this point but they still taste fine so I'll continue to drink them and then I have a little sample toothpaste from my work and this stinking thing that finally kicked the bucket because the last time I tried to put it in my empties I turned it on and it magically started working it working but this is finally done so it is gone and then two more things this was a gift that we got over the Chris, over Christmas time, and it was really cute because it was um, decorated. I took everything off of it and tried to reuse the jar, but this part kept getting all like corroded and crusty. So I'm gonna throw this away. I'll probably keep the jar to repurpose it because it's just like a nice mason jar. But this thing, I think it was just I don't know. It just does not, not, not get that 
stuff on it so I'm gonna toss the top of that the last thing is so good I need to go stock up on some more I've talked about this before but it's the nutty novelties cinnamon peanut butter so I have been on a huge peanut butter kick which you will see why upcoming in the next couple weeks or so um, with what I'm doing but this was so good. This is such a nice company and it's a local company, but you can order them online. So it's just all natural, no cholesterol, high protein, six grams, um, no gluten free, no trans fats, low sodium, and small batches, freshly grounded in Telford, Pennsylvania. So they have a lot of really good flavors. This one I really liked. I would get this one again. They're not overpriced and I pick them up through a local like farm stand type of building um, that's not far from us. So I will continue to repurchase these and I would look into them. I'll link their website below if you're curious about checking them out because they do have really good flavors of peanut butter and they're more on the healthier side. So that is it for today. I am so excited to get this stuff into where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and clear out to make room for them for more stuff that's currently being used up so if you like empties videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up i will see you guys soon for the beauty empties and i hope everyone has a great weekend uh tomorrow i'll be uploading a dollar tree haul and yeah i like it's so cute some of the stuff that i found so I'm very excited to share it so i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye Thank you.